Als ik zeg dat ik hier inmiddels met Simon en Tom sta, dan denk je, nou leuk, hij staat er met twee hele simpele jongens. Maar als ik vertel dat het de twee grootste uit de line-up van vandaag zijn hier op Solar 2010, omdat het de audiobullies zijn, dan wordt het natuurlijk een heel ander verhaal. Guys, how are you? I'm good man, how are you? I'm uh, uh, terrific. Later on you're gonna uh, rock the show on the main stage. What can we expect from your show? Um, just me and Sai again and uh, just a nice party. But you're, you're working uh, a couple of years uh, together now. How would you describe the audio bullies nowadays? Uh, just, just, just like uh, oh, it's, hard, it's hard to explain music, isn't it? But still, a lot of yeah, a lot of energy and uh, just a banging sound. You know, the same as it's always been, man. It's all, always been about good melodies, good beats, and, and a bit of proper music. You know. But what is the biggest difference between uh, uh, a couple of years ago and nowadays? Um, it's taken us a little while to make an album, so we've been kind of tucked away working on that. And uh, yeah, the last, I suppose like the last six months, we've been out playing it. So yeah, that's the yeah, that's, that's the difference really. You did a lot of shows together the the last years, but if you look back uh, at those years, what was your most shitty performance and why? Uh, I might have it. Yeah. We just went up where that for me. New Year's Eve here at the Sand. I just got completely fucked on this MDMA. Can you say that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it, it just took the life out of me, and I just could not mix at all. I'd like forgotten how to mix. And how? That for me, that was the that was the worst one ever. Like the, the VIP was all behind me, so it was like it was not. It was just completely circling me, people, and I just got I just got on a weird one and just had a bad one. And and how did the audience react? Not not like they have done before. That's the then that was a wake up moment for me for sure. Just like you know, stop stop mucking around, take it seriously. Like you can have fun, but be careful, like because you know it's, it's every, every, you know every everyone has a bad game. You know, it's like football teams or something. You know, they everyone has an off day. You know, that's just the way it goes, man. But you got to try your best to always make sure you deliver well, and you, you learn that from from those times, man. But I remember that time, yeah. I mean, Tom, Tom looked like Bruce Lee on Skag, you know what I mean? <laughs> but your story brings me to the next question, because so far the interview was nice, but now comes the most important question of this interview, because I've heard that one of you two is sort of uh, a, a Mariah Carey, because you have uh, uh, special wishes on your rider, and it's about a glass of milk. That's a joke. When I used to make white Russians, we just figured it out the other, like about probably about six months ago. We were like, should we get white Russians? It's making me feel sick though now, just looking yeah, at, no, the, the, honest, at the car. We've overdone it now. We've overdone it. But yeah, Kahlua well, vodka and, and milk. It. It's great. Oh, it's a good drink, man. It's a good drink. Yeah. What more uh, is standing on your rider? Not much, really, man. I need to get a couple of bottles of champagne back on there again, man. It was that was all right. But you know what? I've been. I haven't. Last few little times, I've not been drinking so much. So I've gone off beer lately. I don't know why. It just kind of bloats me a little bit. You know, it just tastes too. It's the taste doesn't. It's not as nice as it used to be. You know. So um, yeah, vodka. I still like a bit of vodka, man. And have you ever tried to put something really stupid on your rider to see if they actually would get it for you? Um. I think that probably people that we worked with started sneaking things on that were a bit. I don't know. I can't. We just took them off. No, not not really. We just get what we need. Just drinks and. Well, who started sneaking what? On? I'm sure there's just been some funny things that have what, appeared. Like, what, like herbal tea. Just yeah, weird shit. Yeah, I mean, that you don't want. The tour manager's like, yeah, you should have a cup of herbal tea before you play. It's like yeah. fuck off. I'm not <laughs> sitting there drinking herbal tea and honey. Do you know what I mean? It's not I understand that. In that option, milk is more rock and roll than herbal tea. You know, it's like people sitting there doing their voice exercises before they play and all that. You know, it's, it's rubbish, man. Are you ready for your uh, show? Always, yeah, always. I would say uh, thanks a lot for the interview. Go to the main stage. And uh, dan gaan wij nu gewoon kijken naar het optreden van de audio